1966, I had the 45 record of it. Anybody remember 45? Oh, I knew I, I knew this crowd was of enough of enough of a certain age they might know about 45. Let's see here. It's dinner time, we, we're not rushing y'all. That's just called the archetypal blues, me and, me and old Paul, me and old Paul, uh, yeah. How are we going to do this song here? One, two, three.
much to everybody for coming on up in here, each and every one of you, each and every one of you man, Jack and woman, girls. We hope you did well if you were an IBC um, competitor. We hope you did real well, even if you didn't ring. Hell, I never won any of but I got a recording contract anyway. We want everybody to be having lots of fun here in, uh, in Memphis. I like Memphis a lot. I even got a song that says, if I ever have to die, let it be in Memphis. We're going to sing this about one more time. When I want to remind you there are CDs over here with, uh, with my buddy Ronnie. They told me it's a pretty good record. I thought it was pretty good anyway. <laughs> One more big hand from my bass player and drummer, Mr. Brian Shaw and John Aloisi. Also a special note of thanks to Mr. R Mr. Chris Hardwick, my artist representative and without whom I still if I were still alive, I'd still be a ten and a half dollar an hour truck driver. He said, you better quit your job and get you an agent. I said, okay, I'll try it one more time. He turned up and worked this time.
Thank y'all very much. God bless. We've got uh, we got Mr. Bob Margoli coming for real. Up in here. Thank you, Bob, for uh, for being for honoring us so by coming in up. But Bob Margoli was Muddy Waters' guitar player. For those anybody that doesn't know that piece of history, I will.